Well guys, the time has come. Settling cages down. Birds are coming out slowly. Uh, I made the mistake and I opened up the aviary and one youngster took off and was terrified of everything and just flew right out of sight, right out of my life. Um, so then I quickly shut the aviaries and I opened up just the traps and slowly they're starting to come out, they're starting to mingle. Um, it's a much easier release um, in terms of them coming out and being able to be a bit more um, comfortable with, you know, with the fact that the settling cage is no longer there. It took forever, of course. The one day, let me backphrase a little bit here. Um, usually, before I let I introduce a group, I allow my first group to go out and get that energy out of them, let them settle, and then I'll finally release the second group so they don't, so the new youngsters don't try to follow the the old ones. And of course, the one day that I, you know, don't expect much from them, they want to give me 40 minutes to an hour on the wing of just constant flying. So, sat there patiently waiting, gave all the birds a bath, and of course, as soon as the birds started settling, started coming down, here come the hawks, and it was one after another, one after another. I thought for sure this weekend was not going to be a go for the release of the third rounders, but everything started to calm down, um, everything seemed to be okay, and then my neighbor starts cutting his lawn, and it, it was just, but here we are, nonetheless. Oh, to top it all off. My wife and I were doing a bit of gardening and we had put a few azalea bushes over here for planting later on when we once we figured out what was going on and as soon as I go to move it wouldn't you know it there's a swarm of bees probably my own that were on the azalea bush Look what I found We'll see. So I had that to deal with this morning. I was able to hive them. I got them in a hive right now of everybody settling. 99% sure they're probably from my own hives. Um, but we'll find out later on when I open them up and trap the queen. But we're not going to get into that. It's just one more thing on top of my uh, glorious day of trying to settle youngsters. So the stress level's high. I'm really out here watching them. Um, hopefully, I can get them in when I start calling. But you know how that goes, guys. I mean, we're gonna take it as as she goes for us. Um, so got some big changes coming up with the loft update. Uh, I'm gonna redo my boxes. That's gonna be for a later video. Uh, I'm gonna finally do raised floors. I can no longer take the dust and the debris and all the, the, the droppings that are packed under my boot every time I walk in and out of there. So I think it's time, it's time to do raised floors. I've been working on them. So we'll take you on a video with that explaining how I built them because I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of questions. So nonetheless guys, I'll let you guys know how she goes. Uh, they have about another hour or so out before I start calling them back in. So wish me luck. We get them in with no problems. All right, all right. guys. With the exception of the one that I'm not sure made it back or not, uh, I was able to get them all in. Unfortunately, uh, about a half hour passed when I normally darken. Uh, I did have about five or six youngsters that just would not trap. Uh, no matter how much I called and I coaxed them in with feed and everything else, they just would not go through the bumpers. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I, I cracked open the trap about halfway. 
uh, that allowing the youngsters to go drop right in and if anything tried to come back out it would land on the bumpers and close the bumpers again so it kind of worked out that way because uh, the last thing you want to do is start letting more birds out after they've eaten and then you're it's game over at that point so I was able to get them in like I said unfortunately about a half hour passed when I'm supposed to darken so that kind of sucked um, but as you guys can see I use cardboard to darken everything now um, I've tried every method in the past and honestly cardboard seems to work the best uh, I put two thin wall cardboard pieces in the traps and then just some cardboard a bit heavier for the front um, just to, to give that gap uh, to close in that gap I mean to say uh, and then I shut the vents front and rear and on the door between the racing section and then the breeding loft I use the weed blocker which is plenty dark but allows her for slight ventilation I also have fans up top that constantly draw air out so the ventilation is still within reason there I mean I'm sure I can improve it we can all probably improve ventilation in our lofts if you're really looking into it uh, but so far I think it's okay um, and you know my performance really hasn't suffered because of it I think it's okay um, like I said the next big big steps for me are to do raised floors I'm just I'm sick of it guys I really really am I can't sit in there long enough to watch them while they eat the dust and everything else that, that goes airborne when they flap around is, is just unbearable anymore uh, my wife and kids no longer want to go in there as well it's dusty they can't breathe they start coughing things of that nature so it's time it's time we do raised floors and I'll show you exactly how I'm doing those um, I looked into different methods and honestly building my own because of my dimensions is the way to go um, but like I said I'll show you guys on the next video how I'm doing it after that I'm gonna start on the breeding section uh, I have maybe four youngsters that are still not weaned which I'm not keeping those are gonna go to a friend of mine everything that's in the section now is that's it it's no more added birds um, I've already mixed them they've already been out that's it this is my cutoff I know it's a couple it's a week and a half past when I said it would be um, but because of bad weather I extended it a couple weeks longer and unfortunately we're having more bad weather coming up for the next few days so I won't be able to let them out to the weekend again so bear with me guys like I said I'll take you guys in the next couple videos just because it's interesting and I just sort of want to avoid as many questions as possible not that I don't mind the questions in the comments um, but some of them are so redundant um, I feel that I've already answered them but I guess in, in some co countries the language barrier is a little bit off and they still ask the basic questions how what size what dimensions even if I cover it and I will no problem guys I'll cover those dimensions again and how I'm doing it but we'll see you guys in the next one we've had good luck like I said apart from the one that I don't think made it back um, all the birds were in and out well I wouldn't say that all the birds were out uh, because I did that slow release a lot of the birds were not able to come out which is fine it is perfectly fine they will come out on their own um, and again now unfortunately is the hard part when I let them out the first rounders are gonna want to go up and fly and hopefully the third rounders aren't gonna try to follow because then that could just be chaos could be okay but it also could be chaos let me just show you guys really quick before we take off how dark it is in my loft so I'm sure there's gonna be guys asking questions and you can see the door is opening but let's go ahead and shut that door so you guys can see it's plenty dark I do have a little bit of light coming in through there um, but I, again it's not enough not enough to cause any issues I've not had issues in the past and then that's the breeder door there um, again just a little bit of light you can't even see a single bird and there's probably four or five birds perching there you can maybe make out a few birds on this side but I don't know what you guys can see I, I can barely see them you can definitely not read in here I know a lot of guys are or hey you can read a newspaper no you can't it's it's relatively dark and again I got the fans constantly running so it's drawing air out so that's about as dark as I get it and it works for me guys you guys choose to do however you like if you want a pitch black that's fine if you want it much lighter than this that's also fine I just don't want any real protruding light as see right now the light looks like it's very heavy but it's not it's only very heavy on the screen but it's relatively dark in here um, if I was standing in front of it you probably wouldn't be able to see me other than maybe the reflection on my t-shirt or something like that um, plenty dark for me oh. it was a stressful day guys nonetheless but we made it I think that was the last hurdle that I'm gonna deal with and then that's it that's the reason why I'm not adding anything else so 
<laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.